part 2 of my Ali Mall guided walk tour, you will get the most complete information and update about this mall, especially about level 3, which features the Ali Mall Government Center, the Ali Mall Cineplex, the footbridge, and the vaccination center here. Here's a view of the COVID-19 vaccination center on this floor. It is actually beside Union Bank and uh, Field Plans, which is closed right now. So this is uh, a huge space uh, allotted for COVID vaccination. So since I haven't really, I didn't really get my, my shots here, uh, we'll try to find out more about um, the process here. But I think as with most uh, COVID-19 vaccination centers, you have to do online booking in order for you um, to be processed um, at the center. So this is the billboard up ahead. Okay. So I get the impression that um, the vaccination center is a project between Reliance United and the Araneta City. Okay, which is good. So Reliance United could either be a healthcare or an HMO um, company or a healthcare provider. Before we move on, I would just like to show you that aside from the escalators that are more visible um, from the main lobbies, you could also use the stairs right here on the side uh, to get here. <laughs> so if you're looking for some exercise, yeah, you can definitely use the stairs. And also if you're coming from um, the parking lot outside, right there. And then directly in front of me, we are actually looking at uh, Cineplex 4. So a bit of a history um, before we proceed. Let's walk back a bit. So at the start, uh, there used to be only two Cineplexes here. Then later on, the facilities were expanded into four cineplexes. And let me just tell you that something exciting is about to happen here at the cineplex very soon. So stay tuned for my upcoming video on that. Okay. I think, yeah, um, it's better for us to walk back because I want to show you the Ali Mall Government Center uh, which is near uh, the escalator where we came from so in the meantime enjoy the view this is a very spacious uh, level of Ali Mall There are some banks to the left. You can imagine that on a weekday, especially, this place can get packed with uh, people transacting their business. So we're here at the Ali Mall Government Center. Okay. So I believe. Um, this is the main hall. Alright, so to date, there are nine satellite government agencies operating here. Uh, but since it's closed, we cannot really walk or uh, take a walk based on Araneta City's latest update last, just last October 20, 
all these agencies are now ready to serve you starting at 10 in the morning but they close at different hours so take note of their uh, different schedules also take note that for health and safety reasons you need to book online for an appointment with many of these agencies before you can come here to do your business with them while others allow a combination of online booking and walk-in transactions so to be sure check their respective websites and social pages okay. so in front of me uh, this is the Quezon City Business Center definitely closed on a Sunday Although some of these agencies uh, transact from Monday to Saturday, half day on Saturdays in most cases. So again, check their website or social pages to be sure. So on the other side of the uh, government, Animal Government Center, these are the other shops that you can find here. The business center of the Department of Trade and Industry or DTI as it is uh, more known so if you want to I believe apply for business registration you can now do it here whereas before you can only do that at their head office in Makati City which is actually quite far from here so this is definitely welcome news uh, especially to those of you who might be thinking of putting up their own business especially now uh, during the pandemic okay so further ahead we're about to hit the Department of Foreign Affairs. Uh, that's their satellite office for passport processing. Yep, this is the DFA. Well, then, however, for passport processing, strictly no walk-in applicants. Definitely, so keep that in mind you have to sign up for online booking so this is the waiting area for DFA applicants or for yeah uh, people who would like to renew their passports right there so this is what the facade looks like That's the whole expanse of uh, DFA here in Ali Mall. And then in front of it would be these other shops. We have LBC, we have the Avignon uh, Medical Center, and then a few other retail stores right there. So this is on level 3 which is in fact the food gallery uh, section of Ali Mall okay. because up ahead this is now the food gallery where the loud music is coming from so since my voice will definitely be competing with the background music let me just take you on <laughs> quiet walk tour at least in this part of the mall
Sunday afternoon. But maybe also because um, the weather is not so good today. It was in fact uh, raining a while ago. So let's do a full circle and yeah, just follow the path of Dairy Queen for our last stop, which is the Skywalk Footbridge. And I will share with you a very interesting fun fact, historical fun fact about it. So rest of the dining establishments here. Uh, over at the side. So some of the stores unfortunately have closed. And this is also the nearest route going to the Skyrim footbridge. These are some of the shops on this section. I'm confused now because it says ground floor um, and it's probably right. So sorry about that. Okay, so we're now about to approach uh, the Skywalk Footbridge. Um, your best landmark for that would be the Rai Raiken. Japanese restaurant and to its left is Kowa over here which actually uh, used to be Dulcinea there it is okay so this is the skywalk so let's walk going there okay so, for a bit of fun fact, in, 20, in 2009, Alimal underwent its most expensive renovation and expansion yet to the tune of 200 million Philippine pesos. It smells really good <laughs> from Sparrow over here, right here. <laughs> I might come back and order something from there, from them. So, yeah, going back, aside from modernizing the Cineplex 4, the project also included building this enclosed footbridge between Ali Mall and SM Cobal, which is now up ahead, right there, reportedly to commemorate the friendship between these two malls. <laughs> okay so as you can see the footbridge is lined with other dining establishments as well um, if you look them up on Google you'll find more accurate results for instance um, if you look up French Baker Ali Mall over uh, French Baker SM Cabal so that's not helpful tip for you. Uh, if you decide to find more information about them. Okay, so up ahead. Yeah, this is now uh, the entry point to SM Cabal. And uh, to its left, uh, there is a new I don't know if this is a coffee shop, but it's called the Abbey. Right there. That used to be occupied by Urban Grind, in fact, um, just a few years back, but they've now relocated along the Shopwise Strip. And you will find that um, in my Shopwise video, uh, which I will give a link to at the end of this video. Then there's Dairy Queen. Uh, which is also closed I just don't know if temporarily uh, hopefully not permanently and I hope uh, you were able to get something useful from this content 
you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Until the next one, please stay safe, take care, and have a rosy day ahead. I think I'll go back to Spallow now. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>